So we have Aaron Bramley of Lights Camera Help here, and he's a panelist on the Mother Goose Got Punked uh, panel over here at South by Southwest Interactive, talking about communication for nonprofits. Um, there's a lot of organizations that feel overwhelmed with a lot of tips of what they should be doing, you know, do this, do that. What, what is something they should keep in mind to keep it all together? I think the, the most important thing to keep it all together is that organization is key when you're producing a story. So making sure that you know what assets you have, um, know what equipment you have, know what volunteers you have who can help you create a story. Um, and then organize, being organized as you're actually producing your story. So what is the story? What's the goal of the story? Um, and how you're going to actually find the people who are best equipped to tell that story. Great. And another question. Um, organizations sometimes have trouble getting people on board with certain forms of storytelling or starting new initiatives. What's a, what's a good tip or a good technique for doing that? I think understanding that uh, people are expecting to see video and to see digital stories online when they go online um, and really visit that virtual front door of an organization. They're really looking for that kind of content. So realizing that people are spending way more time on websites that have video that don't have video or have photos that don't have video photos you know, is, is a great realization to have um, so that you can be confident in producing your story that it's actually going to be beneficial. So we have been here with uh, Micro Documentaries. Um, he was on the panel with for uh, Mother Goose Got Punked over here at South by Southwest Interactive talking about visual storytelling for nonprofits. So, Ben, um, some folks at home weren't able to make it to the panel today. What's something that they should bring to their organization when they're telling stories um, to promote, to tell their organization stories? Um, something they should bring to their organization? Yeah. Um, I think something that came up in the panel today is really uh, focusing on telling individual stories, personal narratives from your organization. I think it's easy to think about um, projects that your organization is working on or new initiatives that you're launching, but really the meat, like the, 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 the stuff that really moves people all the, are the personal narratives from within your organization, uh, people that are driving action within your organization, or people that are impacted. So if you're able to capture those stories through photo or video, uh, that's, I think, the most effective storytelling that you can do. Fantastic. And so, um, you know, I asked Aaron about... You know, sometimes it's a little hard to break through, um, you know, you have multiple staff who aren't quite on board. What's a tip for, for getting folks on board with, in, you know, starting a new way of storytelling, new, new, you know, getting away from those very typical ways of telling the story, of doing the photos and the video? What's a good way of getting people on board, getting buy-in? Yeah. Um, I mean, first of all, thinking about starting, uh, getting buy-in uh, with people who are running the organization, we always try to work with, uh, like, get buy-in first from CEOs, uh, people who are managing marketing, so thinking about um, making sure that you're engaging the right people in the conversation and having the conversation at a high level within your organization, or very early, is very important, and then showing examples, tangible, concrete examples of how this content uh, is working for other organizations. One thing that, that helps for us, micro documentaries, is that, I'm going to move closer so you can yeah. hear it, so that, yeah, I was like, what happened? We produce a ton of content, we produce, you know, hundreds and hundreds of videos, yeah. so organizations can get a sense of uh, what they're going to get when they work with us, what the content looks like, and we have a documented process that's very clear. Um, so that helps organizations kind of demystify, well, what's this going to look like for us? Uh, how are you going to address some of the challenges with video production, uh, like you know, cost overruns, like it taking too long, taking too many of my resources. So it's, it's, and part of that can be finding the right partner, making sure that you're working with uh, a company that you know you can trust and that is going to address a lot of the challenges that you might face.